Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of TeamWise 365. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you some of the common onboarding methods for Windows devices into Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Keep in mind that Defender for Endpoint is an agentless solution. It's built in natively to the OS, and you just have to change some of the configuration settings to point at your organization. Also keep in mind that while I will be covering the Windows devices today, the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint service does also support Mac OS devices as well as Android and Linux devices as well too. As far as the onboarding methods go here, there are four major ones that I wanted to point out. Microsoft Intune is the recommended method from Microsoft directly and it is probably the lightest weight in the sense of actually getting the devices into the Defender for Endpoint service. If devices are already enrolled into Microsoft Intune, it's simply a toggle you have to turn on, which I'll show you here in a second, and that allows them to be enrolled into the service. They automatically update their configuration setting, and they can start reporting within a matter of minutes. So it's a really powerful experience, and obviously from a bulk perspective, if you're already enrolled at Intune, it's very lightweight to get all the devices starting to report back into the Defender for Endpoint service. You can also use an RMM tool like Datto or ConnectWise Automate or something like that to push out a script which will change the configuration settings and point at your particular tenant for the Defender service and have all of your Windows devices reporting up. Additionally, if you haven't fully adopted Intune yet and you're running more of a hybrid environment and you're slowly working your way to the cloud, you could also use group policy for devices that are domain joined to your local Active Directory environment and this would allow you to change those configuration settings as well to point at your Defender for Endpoint tenant. Lastly, here you could also use a third-party MDM tool. Let's say you're using Champ, for instance, for Mac devices and MDM deployment. You could enroll them into the Defender for Endpoint service still from a security perspective. And this is simply you know, another configuration profile that you would push out. So let's quickly pop into the Defender Admin Center so I can show you more about where you see this onboarding configuration package that you can push out and some of the settings that you can turn on within Intune. So I'm here within the Microsoft 365 Defender portal and under endpoints, I can go under configuration management here. On this tab, I have a widget which shows the onboarded devices. I can click into the onboard more devices, which will actually open up the endpoint manager admin center. It'll take me to the direct place I need to go, which is under endpoint security and then Microsoft Defender for endpoint. Now I've already turned this on here, but if you have never set this up, it's simply adding this toggle to on and saving the configuration here and all the devices that are already enrolled into Intune will automatically start reporting in the endpoint section within the 365 Defender portal. So just keep that in mind. You can also turn this on for iOS and Android devices as well too. And there's a lot of other granular configurations here, but fundamentally you have the ability just to toggle this on. Again, so this is really powerful if you've already onboarded devices to Intune as far as saying that this is a lightweight deployment to get them enrolled into this solution. And from there, you could have baseline level security that's already being applied while you get acclimated to the service. Back in the 365 Defender portal, you can additionally go down under the settings section here and you can click into the endpoint section. And from here, if you scroll down, you'll have this device management tab and onboarding. And so with this, you're able to select your onboarding method and these cover the ones that I touched on today besides VDI and the configuration manager, which I didn't want to really get into. But this is allowing you to export this script. So you could use this script for your RMM tool, for instance. You could use this with group policy and download this onboarding package. And additionally, you could use this package as well from the perspective of MDM to push that into a third party. So you have a lot of things that you can do here from that perspective. And when you run that out, they give you a detection test as well too to make sure that the service is running on that particular device. Ultimately though, once you start to deploy those packages or you toggle it on via Intune, your device inventory will start to light up here with the devices that are coming through from those particular sections. So that's everything I wanted to showcase for you guys in today's video on onboarding devices into Defender for Endpoint. Stay tuned for my next video. We'll be going through the threat and vulnerability management section here within Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.